Every part of the wardrobe is phenomenal. Snow White was, you know, kind of a modern girl in olden times. Snow White's dress had to be of the era, but it also had to kind of rip down into something a bit more aggressive in a way. And the detail is stunning. I started her with kind of like a legging pant underneath because I knew she was going to have to do so much action. And also, ultimately, when her dress gets ripped off, it's a cool look with the leggings. So it kind of made it today, but still kind of viable within the uh, realm of the story. We sort of had this concept with Ravina that she had a lot of elements of death in her costumes. So we used bits of things like feathers, skulls, small bones, all kinds of things in her costume to compile them. Colleen really truly understood the themes of the story, and in a way, these dresses were like torture devices. I could see her in the morning being, you know, just forced into this corset, and her believing, like, you know, if I'm not in this, I'm not my best. I loved what I had to wear, you know, it, it suited how I wanted to play the character. What good is gold to me if I'm lying dead with the crows picking at my eyes? The huntsman lived outside, so we sort of conceived a sort of leather kind of vibe for him. I do exactly as I do. He had a lot of layers to his clothing. He had a coat that he could sleep on. He had, you know, everything he had had a reason. Colleen just is who she is, and she's incredible. The, every costume in this is just so impressive. All you have to do is go into her studio and start getting dressed, and the character just comes alive.